Question number six says that how many silver coins, 1.75 centimeters in diameter and of thickness 2 millimeters, must be melted to form a cuboid of dimensions 5.5 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 3.5 centimeters. So let's have a visual representation of the question first, and this is how it looks. We have a coin which is in the shape of a cylinder which has got a height of 2 millimeters as it was its thickness and the diameter is 1.75 centimeters. So the radius of the cylinder R1 will be equal to 1.75 divided by 2 and that is 0.875 centimeters. The height H1 of the cylindrical coin will be 2 millimeters but let's convert that into centimeters so that will be 0.2 centimeters. Now 10 centimeters is the length of the cuboid, 5.5 centimeters is the breadth of the cuboid and 3.5 centimeters is taken as the height of the cuboid. Now let's say there were n such silver coins which were melted to form the cuboid of the given dimensions. So what will happen then? that the volume of n such cylindrical coins will be equal to the volume of the cuboid. So let's write the formulas for both of these. The formula to find the volume of a cylinder will be pi r square h. So here it will be pi r1 square times h1 to be equal to L B times H, which is the height of the cuboid. We have taken this as H and the height of the cylinder as H1. Now N will be equal to LBH, which is 10 times 5.5 times 3.5 divided by R1 square, which is 0 0.875, the whole square, times H1, which is 0 0.2 times pi which is 22 by 7. On calculation and simplification we get the value of n to be equal to 400. So the number of such cylindrical coins which were needed to form a cuboid of dimensions which is given in the question we need 400 cylindrical coins and this is how we solve this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.